Six Steps to Become a Ghostwriter for Books The process of writing a book is like the process of preparing a dinner, serving dishes, choosing ingredients, and so on. Brian Tracy If you're looking to start or expand your writing career, but you don't have an idea for a book, or you don't want the pressure of having your name on the cover page, it is worth considering becoming a ghostwriter. Ghostwriters are hired by an author to write a book as that author, but ghostwriters don't receive the credit. In other words, a ghostwriter writes the author's story, but only the author's name is on the cover of the book. So if you're ready to kickstart your writing career, here are six steps to becoming an effective and well-paid ghostwriter. Step one is to become a proficient writer. This does not mean you have to have a master's degree in English, but it does mean you have to know your way around pen and paper or word processing software. At the very least, you should have a knack for storytelling along with strong research skills and this will make the writing process easier and more enjoyable. A good ghostwriter should be able to effortlessly adapt their voice to any client and make their words feel and sound like they came from the public author of the work. This is an essential skill and will take some practice. Step two is to write a book proposal. Once you have become proficient with writing and have some practice under your belt, the next step is to research the author you want to write for. You'll have to pitch yourself as the best option to tell their story with a well-structured writing proposal. Your proposal is also an opportunity to demonstrate that you're familiar with their work and that you would love to tell their story for them. To really get their buy-in, you should be able to show them examples of past work you've done in their industry or field, showcasing your ability. Your proposal is also a great opportunity to highlight any relevant skills or experience you might have. By doing this, you'll let them know that they can trust you to take good care of their story and tell it in a meaningful way. Step three is to set your rate. Once you have demonstrated your writing proficiency to the author and they are engaged with your ghostwriting proposal, it's time to discuss your rate. For a lot of people, talking about money can be a tricky subject. It is, however, an important one. As a ghostwriter, you'll be putting a lot of time and effort into your writing services without receiving any credit in return. That is why you need to be compensated well for this type of writing. Don't beat around the bush. Be clear and upfront with the person you're writing for. Tell them exactly what you charge for ghostwriting books, whether it's a flat fee or a rate per word, so neither one of you is wasting time. Step four is to write your first draft. Once your rate has been set, it's time to start writing. But before writing your first word, it is important to collect all the necessary materials and research needed to effectively write the book. Start by crafting an outline of the book with all the chapters to help you prevent writer's block. This way, you'll always know what needs to be written next and what material you need to complete that section. When you're completing the first draft, the most important thing is to get all the words down first and simply put pen to paper or fingers to keyboard and write. Do not get caught in editing as you go along, as you'll edit in the next step. Step five is to edit and write a second draft. Once your first draft is done, it's time to go back to edit and review your work looking at the big picture as well as small details. This is where you will check for flow, grammar, and tone. You'll correct punctuation and fix details to make sure everything is in the right place. Once you've edited your first draft from start to finish, it is this edited version you will take to the author for the final step of your ghostwriting process. Step six is to review with the public-facing author and add finishing touches. In this final step, you will take the carefully edited drafts and review the written work with the author that you wrote for. In this step, you'll add any finishing touches before passing the final piece off to the author who hired you so they can publish it. One of the bonuses of being a ghostwriter is that once the writing process is complete, so is your job. You do not need to worry about any of the publication details. Being a ghostwriter is not always easy, but for the right type of person, it can be a highly successful and enjoyable career path. By following the steps discussed, you can set yourself up for success as an effective and well-paid ghostwriter. Now the question today is this, what are you doing every single day to become a proficient writer? Leave a comment below and Brian will be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and remember as Brian always says, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now.
If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you about these three leadership traits, share it with your friends or for more resources on professional development, visit my website at briantracy.com. Thanks for watching and remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now.